Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be doing a little happier Bible journaling than I did last week. I was in a bit of a low place, but you know, we are all human. We go through that, and today God has brought me some hope. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. And I needed that reminder. I really did. God has been really working on me to remind me that he is the dawn. None of the stuff we see on the earth is going to be the dawn. There is no great awakening coming because of anything we do. It's all him. And that that dawn is coming in his time when he is prepared for it. He's got a plan. He knows exactly when anything like that is supposed to happen. He knows when the second coming is. We have no idea. And the promise that he is bringing that new day is one that I really needed to hear. So I'm painting a forest here. And there are lots of different ways to paint forests, but I like to paint in layers. If you haven't noticed on my channel, I do that a lot. So I'm painting the background layer right now. This may feel like a whole lot of strong color right now, but Believe me, by the time I add other things to it, this will start to pale out. Watercolor always gets about 30% lighter, if not lighter than that, when it dries. And you can also lighten it. Uh, Baby Wipe works really great on Bible paper to lift excess color. And it'll get the, the things a little bit blended as well. And you can iron in between layers if you want to sort of flatten things out. Don't iron until it's completely dry and then iron or else you'll pick up the paper on your or the, the color on your iron. And then I started adding a path because we are on the path to the dawn. The dawn is coming. There is there is a new day on the horizon. And then a little bit of grasses on either side of it. But over all of this, I'm going to be adding the forest. And that's where the beautiful layering is going to come in. So I'm trying to make the road get really skinny in the distance. That really indicates distance. If you don't make it really skinny at the end, then it doesn't feel like you're that far from it. And right now I do feel like we're probably a little far from that new day. <laughs> it's still a little bit on the dark side out there in the world around me. But I'm going to mix up a little bit of a bluish purple to paint some tree trunks. And my tree trunks, notice, are not going to be straight. So please don't worry about being perfect in your Bible journaling. This is not about the perfect art. It's about the perfect heart. Ooh, that rhymes. I might have to do something with that. <laughs> but having the heart for what God is telling you and journaling that is what it's all about. Because on something like this, you know, this particular verse is a wonderful one. That's great. And if I did a beautiful painting, that would be one thing. But the more important part of any Bible journaling is what the Lord is speaking to each one of us. So that is one reason why I tell you, if you want to use the verse that I'm journaling, sure, that's fine. But you can use these ideas and these techniques for painting on any different Bible page. Paint where, the God, where God is telling you things. Paint where the Lord is leading you. Because that's what your Bible journaling should be about, not just about making something pretty, but about painting what God is telling you and leaving your space, yourself space on the page. I'm going to be journaling on top of the road down there at the bottom after I complete the video. But leaving yourself space to journal and write down, what did God tell me? What was going on in the world around me? What was I praying for? What do I need for him to do? What did he ask me to do? And write those things down. And when you come upon that verse in a few months or a few years, you can see where God has been faithful. You'll be able to look back at both that painting and remember what you were thinking while you were painting it. You'll remember the things you journaled and the circumstances that you were wrestling at the time. And see where God was faithful. What has he done? What has he brought you through? And sometimes if it's a lesson, I look through old pages and I suddenly realize, you know, I needed that lesson again. So I'm really glad I came to that page because I'm a slow learner. Yeah, I need to learn things over and over sometimes. And having them in my Bible 
so that as I read, I come across all my old lessons. It's very similar to when people write notes in their Bibles and take notes from sermons. You'll stumble upon those notes, just like you stumble upon your Bible journaling, and remember what the Lord had told you. It's fine to say, you know, okay, I want to do this page that Sandy did because it was pretty. But if the Lord isn't speaking to you, then you're just replicating art. You're not actually doing the heart work of Bible journaling and meeting with the Lord himself. So I would recommend with any of the Bible journaling pages that I teach here on YouTube or in my classes that I teach, make sure that you spend some time with the Lord before going to replicate one of these pages and ask him what he wants you to learn. What's he teaching you through this verse or this chapter? Or is there another verse that you've been studying and a lesson with an image like this is something that he's been trying to burn into your heart? So make sure that you're listening to him. I don't want to be the one getting in the way of your relationship with him just by giving you something for your hands to do, something for you to paint. I want to see more people engaging with Jesus, engaging with the Lord in conversation about what's going on in your life. Where is he taking you? What's he teaching you? Not just replicating my journey, which is what you would be doing if all you did was make the same pages that I'm making. My journey is not your journey. And it's so vital for you to have your own journey with Jesus. And I just hope and pray that the inspiration that I give you here on YouTube is one that leads you deeper into scripture and deeper into your relationship with Jesus, not just looking at what I make and saying, I want to make that too. So I really appreciate everyone who shares in our Facebook group, all the beautiful pages and some of the different ways people use my same tutorials with different verses and different things that the Lord has spoken. So hopefully you'll do that too if you create a page based on an idea like this. And I will see you again next week with another Bible journaling video. Take care. Bye-bye.